Welcome to this mobility site. The video first look. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris Lightness Mobility Site.com, and we're back to do the software tour of the Samsung Intrepid. This is the uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 front facing keyboard, what they call a slim bar QWERTY form factor. And uh, I showed you in the unboxing video the nice keyboard it's got, and the controls, and the weird looking center center uh, punch here that looks almost like it's supposed to slide up and down but anyway without further ado this is going to be a quick one I uh, there's really not a lot I really want to show you about the device it's running Windows Mobile 6.5 and you've seen that before so this is not an HTC device so we do not have touch flow and you have the standard Windows Mobile 6.5 and this is Windows 6.5 professional as with some other some of the other earlier form factors that looked like this we actually had this t the screen was not actually a touch screen but with this one it actually is a touch screen as well as you're able to control everything just as if it was not a touch screen with the uh, soft keys here you see right there it says contacts and set and you can actually bring that up with your soft keys there so just showing you that and uh, you can navigate through the menus with the d-pad you can navigate through the uh, start menu with the d-pad left right up down whatever and um, you can also access it access all these controls with your finger or the stylus provided here which I'll pull the stylus out because uh, we might need that in a couple places here come here stylus come here stylus there we go so um, go ahead and close out of here on the front page, uh, I'll put it to where it's default when you first turn the phone on, you've got, right, come on, there we go, right here in the center, and we'll go ahead and get you a better look here, get you a little zoom in action there, I just wanted to keep it out so I could show you where, you know, how you can control through this, like I said, we've got the start button here, and you can do that number there, uh, we'll get out of that, so here on the home page, this is the uh, new today screen, uh, unlike the one that you've seen in the past where all the information was laid out almost like you had your time and date up here and then all the grid and whatever so um, right here you've got your time and we're timing out here too quick and that's pretty much it down there and we'll go down if you had any text messages here it would say you know you have a text message if you had any new emails it would say and also you can launch these applications by just clicking the center punch here as well so um, and you go down here to email you can launch that by going here you can also compose a message start a message to compose from the front page too or at least you can in earlier versions okay made a liar out of me here's where you would look at your appointments and so forth and I don't have any set up for this period of time just click out of there and then favorites you can set up your internet favorites and if you had some you could scroll left or right and go through it and you can add one right there and all what I'm doing is I'm just scrolling through like that right there so uh, and then if you click the center of the d-pad it would launch the application which is Internet Explorer okay let's see here. all right we'll go back up to the top of here and there would be any voicemails if you had any here would be any missed calls that you have and uh, don't have any of those here you can scroll through your music if you had any on here which I do there's a couple uh, preloaded samples here and you can scroll left to right to go to the next one and click there and if you wanted to open up the media player to actually get a better control of your music, you go right here to media player or you can start it from here. And you can just hit it again to stop it. So anyway, pictures, you can click on here and you can actually bring that picture up. But what I want to show you instead is that you can actually scroll through these photos here and see them right there. If I want to click on that. Now while we're here, we can use the D-pad. To scroll through the pictures or you can use your finger and slide through them 
and we'll go ahead and get out of there nothing too exciting there so anyway let's go on to the start menu basically uh, this is a sprint phone and it's going to be loaded with some sprint applications that they have on here we've got an anniversary program that helps you uh, remember you got an audio notes here instant messaging program an rss reader a search widget sprint store and then you can get sprint music in here somewhere too uh sprint titan manager stopwatch sprint nav which is subscription based service and you've got sprint music store yeah there we go music store and software store but we've got our own windows mobile software store as well Wi -Fi, so that's kind of limiting me a little bit and i was going to do a demo of tell me where it actually you can tell the phone you know find a starbucks or whatever and it would actually go and look it up with bing and come back and tell you where the closest one was with phone number and all that kind of stuff but without having a connection which i do not have a connection i'm not too far out in the woods here uh without having that connection it can't use the location services to find where you are to make that suggestion however tell me does work just firing with other things so i can click on this little dedicated button here which is the tell me button here and let's see here click on that oops all right we'll do it again call val snow work Val snow at work calling and it proceeds to go ahead and make that phone call but we don't want to make that call so we'll just hit end here and we'll go back but um with the call me you could say Hooters And if we had a, uh, well, we do have a Hooters here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, but if I had location services, it would actually, for it would actually know using location services where the nearest Hooters would be. Uh, we've got to dismiss this here. But it did find Hooters. It looked it up on Bing, and it brought back some, some, uh, results however it did not find any local results to tell me where the nearest one is because like i said i don't have the ability for location services without a connection to the internet via right the here. network and that's about it really i just uh it's windows mobile 6.5 you've seen it probably before the device in itself is a really nice feeling device it's got the um the raised letters on the keyboard here, I really like it. The controls here, besides the center punch is uh, pretty nice. The center punch is just weird. It, it's raised up a little bit. It almost feels like you're supposed to push up and down on it. Um, you know, I showed you in the hardware tour all the buttons here. You've got the stylus silo, which is weird. It kind of goes in at that angle instead of up and down. Dedicated camera button on off switch. Uh, three and a half millimeter headset jack volume and that's about it and uh, another thing about this if you miss the hardware tours it's a world phone so it'll work on gsm overseas i tried to throw a at&t sim card in there and uh, no joy i'm sure there's some hacks out there to uh, allow that to happen eventually but right now nah, not so much so anyway this is the samsung intrepid it is a windows mobile 6.5 device on the sprint network it's got plenty of memory. It's a 512 megahertz processor. And as you see, it was pretty peppy. It's not really loaded down with a bunch of junk applications yet. So uh, it's not too bad off, but that's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris Lechness, and we will have one of our reviewers taking a look at this real soon. And you can probably look for a full review within the next couple weeks.